Alrighty, uh, hi. Uh, very quickly, before we hop into the video, I feel like it's pretty important uh, to mention what's going on in Russia and Ukraine right now. Essentially, Russia's invading Ukraine, and quite obviously, that's not a good thing. So, um, I have provided uh, a couple of links in the description for uh, Ukrainian citizens, uh, their donation pages, uh, the Ukrainian Red Cross, and then links to things like news updates from uh, MSNBC, as well as things like um, uh, news from specifically uh, Ukrainian citizens. So yeah, I, I just felt like that was important to mention before the video. Um, I hope that everyone in Ukraine stays safe and I hope that this can resolve uh, with Ukrainian citizens staying safe. Anyway, we're going to go to the area where the monsters have appeared, AKA by the Narukami Shrine or, or Mount Yogo or whatever, where the Rift Hounds are and we're gonna fight them. I don't know what we're doing, man. I'm just waiting for Azul to come back. Okay. <laughs> Lore accurate, Musa no Hitachi. <laughs> Torn to oblivion. Hey! <laughs> that just happened! <laughs> Would you look at that? Uh, Shogun? Wait, no. Could also be A. Yeah, that gets confusing. Huh. It's you two. <laughs> the question mark to find Last what is to come. Last time we took a walk around Inazuma together, I witnessed the way the world is today. I was finally able to comprehend some things that I had never understood in the past. Since hmm. then, every time I encounter an obstacle in my thinking, I find myself having the urge to spend some time in the outside world. Growth. Recently, well. I have observed a number of changes in the external world from the plane of Euthymia. The most serious of these being the attack on the sacred Sakura by numerous rift hounds. But mm. rift hounds attacking the sacred Sakura. Oh. It brings back bad memories of that terrible disaster. Puts hand on hip. Are we gonna talk about Chiyo and Saigu? Ma'am? <laughs> A disaster? The cataclysm? Yes. 500 years ago. A great catastrophe. Give me this lore, babes. Inazuma. Give me this lore! Everything was engulfed in a pitch black fog, and monsters ravaged the land. The mm. monsters committed many atrocities on Inazuman soil. And the Rift Hounds were oh. always their advance guard. Yes. Inazuma was facing many great crises at that time. Some were Came from Conria. Region, while others. Others came from the now fallen kingdom of Kanria. Came from Kahau. Inazuma caused me great concern. I felt that I had to step in before it was too late, otherwise it would spread to all of Tevat. But my friend, Kitsune Saiku, reassured me that I had nothing to worry about. Oh. I could tell that, although neither of us acknowledged it, we both knew that the road ahead would likely end in tragedy. So, Inazuma was attacked at the same time as when the disaster happened in Kanria? Mm. Indeed. Countless Wait. monsters suddenly appeared throughout all of Inazuma. In the end... Does that mean that Kanria and what happened in Inazuma happened, to like, the from people. the same source? I mean... I never had the chance to see her one last time. But I would like to believe that she kept her promise to me. Until the very last. Something seems wrong with A. Oh, why is she having a headache? Are you feeling okay? Why would you ask that? Because you were holding your head? Well, usually you'd pull out your sword and swish! Vaporize them all in one Please go. don't tell me this is erosion. Please don't tell me this is erosion. Please don't- Please- Please- Let's- Let's not. Let's- oh, You are unduly concerned. I'm simply conserving my energy. Why would you need to conserve Although your energy? Although I have some understanding of the situation already, it could take an unexpected turn at any time. It sounds like the almighty Shogun has brought a guest. Yep, that's me. I'm afraid I'm unable to serve you any respectable refreshments on account of the current situation. But please, sit and rest. How come you're not panicking? People flee out of a desire to live on. And the desire to live on stems from a feeling of having unfinished business in life. That feels foreboding, but okay. But me, I have no such thoughts. 
and I have no regrets. The almighty Shogun often speaks to me about her dreams over tea. Good things don't last forever. Everything changes, fades. That's definitely Makoto. Disappears completely over Makoto. the passage of Makoto? time. I don't know. And so, people must make the most of the life they have. Seize the chance to enjoy it while it lasts. And have no regrets in the end. The almighty Shogun comes to visit and I don't have the tea ready. A truly egregious loss of decor. No, it's okay. We're good. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. One moment. I'll just... Hmm? Where in the world is the tea set? Paimon wanted to ask that too. The almighty Shogun that he described didn't sound anything like you at all. I seldom had the time to drink tea. <laughs> Any free time I had was spent practicing martial arts. Okay, nerd. So, in the vast majority <laughs> of cases, the one he made tea for was uh, the former Electro Archon. Uh, who was also my sister. Oh! Uh, Raiden Makoto. Oh! Uh, he may well have had an inkling about there being two Raiden Shoguns. But he always acted as if he was completely unaware of it. The I mean, philosophy of life that he shared with us just now, that was Makoto's view on reality. In her eyes, oh, the that's most such a pretty shot. things in this world were dreams. The yearning for a better future held by living beings. Dreams, or in other words, ambitions? They are similar, but not identical. I agree. Makoto saw a bigger picture than I did. In her view, a dream is more imaginary, more abstract than an ambition. An ambition is a yearning for something material, or a concrete outcome. It is finite in nature, and will be replaced by a new ambition in due course. Makoto was more concerned with the force that drives humans to constantly generate new ambitions in the first place. It is something innate, rooted in instinct. In other words, it is something eternal. That is such a poetic way to, like, interpret life and interpret, like, dreams. Back at the Yashiro Commission, I kept the conversation reasonably lighthearted. But now... I'd like to broach a heavier topic, if I may. The events of 500 years ago... Mm. Not only robbed me of my friend, Kitsune Saiku, they also took Makoto away from me, for good. She died in that disaster too? Yeah. Yes. She went to Konria alone, oh! without telling me. No! Unlike me, Makoto was no martial artist. Why Whenever did she- similar crises Why was- Why did she- past, Wait, I wait. was always the one to face them in her stead. This time, the circumstances were so grave that Makoto had no choice but to leave oh, me God. behind. Or... Perhaps it was more that she went ahead of me, put herself in front of me, oh, so that I would remain hidden. In any case, by the time I realized what was happening. Makoto had already... Oh, God. Oh! Yes. Oh! It was too late. I arrived only in time to hear her dying breath. She had already lapsed into unconsciousness by that point. Oh! So all I could do was enter into her mind. I'm like almost about to cry, my guy. As far as you're concerned, it would be somewhere similar to the plane oh, of Euthymia. Oh, God! It was there that we bid each other a final farewell. I cried bitterly. Even in those final moments, God. I couldn't understand her actions. Oh, this hurts! Oh my God! <laughs> I don't want to cry, man. Is is A's story quest gonna be the first time Genshin makes me cry? Oh, Why God. did she go to Conria first, and not I? Yeah. Why did she keep me in the dark about it? Yeah. Was it to shield me? It was there and then that I resolved to pursue eternity. As a That's... testament to that decision, oh. I saved her realm of consciousness 
Chod. Just before it collapsed completely, and brought it back to Inazuma. That's quite a story. When I returned to Inazuma, I was shocked to find that a great sakura tree had appeared on Mount Yogo. The That's... tree that you know as the sacred sakura. It seemed as if I was the only one to have noticed it appear suddenly out of thin air. I once told myself that I would never speak of these events again. Yeah. Facing the fact that she is gone yeah. is unbearably yeah. painful. Yeah, but no, I get the that, man. The tea that is most bitter to the tongue, once swallowed, leaves some sweetness in the throat. And it's mm. time I came to terms with it all. I know. With this last cup of tea, let us honor the tea master's memory. Thank you, Destiny, for giving us the chance to meet again. I swear, if we somehow see Makoto again because of this like ley line stuff, I'm gonna cry. We're we're already almost there, man. I th I, I think a, a tear slipped out already, but like, oh, oh god, my ace damn near about to die. Please. Hey, are you okay? Don't force it! I... Uh, oh boy. Uh, hey. My apologies. Don't apologize! Just don't, don't die! Don't worry about it! Just take a breather and get your strength back! Thank you all. Hey. Um, are you okay? Maybe you should keep resting. Yeah, I, I feel like this I'm is erosion, fine. man. I'm, I'm, I feel much I'm better scared. Already. Alrighty then, let's move on! Let's go, Cloud! Calm on the outside, but Paimon bets her emotions must be all over the place right now, huh? Oh yeah, she absolutely. Seems to have changed a lot since we last met her. And I'm glad for it. Huh? Where'd you? You gone? Huh? What's wrong, eh? Come on, keep. Oh, up. she's gonna pass out. <sighs> eh? <laughs> What's going on? Are you feeling unwell again? Oh boy. Please. <sighs> My body... I can't move it. What? It looks like... The situation... Is more serious... Than I thought. We should get you back to the city. Yeah, let's, let's get you healed. No need. She? She... 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 Is calling me. Uh oh. The time has come. Uh, it's getting worse again. But it's fine. Stop being vague. Hey, just tell I'm me what's going to put an on. End to it all. What? What is it? What is it all? What are you this talking about? The place I once sealed off with my own hands. Makoto's consciousness. The entrance to Raiden Makoto's realm of. Consciousness. Oh. Uh, uh, it looks like she will no longer allow me to do with this body as I please. Asia's gonna dip into there, isn't she? Are you gonna explain anything to us? No, she's not gonna explain anything to us. She's just gonna walk in. Oh! Follow me. Oh, we're going in too. Okay. Bet. <laughs> uh, no time for adjustment. We're going into, we're going into the the plain of Makoto. We meet again, traveler. This body is an assistant to the one within, but it is also the guardian of the rules. Oh. Should the one within wish to stray from the rules, this body shall stand in her way. You have wandered the realm in my body, and you appear to have grasped the true essence of eternity. You believe your present self has greater certainty than your former self. Thus, you believe your present self is correct, don't you? That's kind of how it works. But have you really been enlightened with new ideas? Or have you been degraded by irreversible See, erosion? See, that's what I'm scared about, the erosion thing. I'm here to show you my answer. Oh? We are both warriors. And the dialogue we must now have 
shall be conducted by the blade alone. My <laughs> form is a symbol of supreme majesty in which has been vested power over all the realm. It is the cohesive embodiment all of the all realm. that constitutes the Raiden Shogun. She sounds like, like a like a fighter announcer, pain. dude. That's so cool. The only rules shall remain constant for eternity. Okay, bet. Those were my thoughts when I created you. Now, they are towering obstacles that I have no choice but to overcome. Yo! Yeah. You wish to make yourself my enemy? I am your past, the everlasting law, the guardian of eternity. And I am she who promised a dream to her subjects. Raiden A. Have you finally defeated her? <laughs> I don't know if it's that easy. Her will is stronger than any other living beings, including you and me. Oh my then, god. Then how then are we- This is gonna be a never-ending battle! We're just gonna be stuck here for eternity. We're just gonna watch A. Maybe. Oh, but the I maybe. The way he said maybe. My present will is no product of erosion. This is my duty. No matter how long this battle may last. Months. Years. Centuries. And no matter how many times we must fight, I will defeat her. I fight for the everlasting future of Inazuma. However long the battle may last, it is but a drop in the ocean of eternity. A I vow to the subjects of Inazuma that I shall one day return. This is my oath. Please, be my witness. During my absence, I place everything in Miko's hands. Someone's not in the best of moods. Hmm, let me guess. You're all tangled up in another situation <laughs> and need me to unravel it for you. Yeah, tuck's here behind you ear. Your wife is you doing are. something stupid. Oh, okay, I see. So, A's decided to palm Inazuma off on the humans, while she goes off on her own to fight a fierce battle that doesn't even have an end date. <laughs> Impossibly stubborn. Jumps straight to the most extreme course of action imaginable, presumes her sheer will can see her through, despite a near impossible goal that requires nothing short of the very peak of her abilities. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that sounds like A, all right. Oh, she acts like such a child sometimes. Miko, so please! The truth of the matter is that I don't know much more about Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness than you do. <laughs> all I know is that it's the foundation of the sacred Sakura. And from what I've heard, it's a little different from A's plane of euthymia. Because Raiden Makoto is no longer alive? Yeah. Not just because of that. The nature of the space itself is different in some way. But I can only speculate. To the outsider, the realm of consciousness is a very abstract concept. Luckily, I'm A's familiar, so I can sense her rough whereabouts. Oh, in other words, that's convenient. even though I can't pinpoint the exact spatial location of this realm, I can still send you to where A is. Oh. So, it's abstract, but has a location, but you don't know where it is, but you can still send us there. What? <laughs> yes, no need to try and understand it. Let me put this simply. Right now, she is surrounded by chaos. Everything is turbulent and disordered. If you try to force your way in, oh. you could be swept away by a giant wave that sets you down in an unknown corner of space-time. Now, I shall send you on your way. Are you not joining us? <sighs> hmm. I say... What is it? Oh, nothing. It just seems extraordinarily chaotic, that's all. My Why did her voice have been confirmed? Oh, her voice kind of seems a little more somber, but that just might be me. By the way, remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Well then, the door is open. Hop on in. I'll stay outside and provide what stability I can. I'll be ready to respond if anything happens. I'm, You're, I'm dragging you in here with me. Capable hands. For I'm my sake, dragging you with me for anyway. Inazumas, please. Bring her back. The way that her voice softened at the very end. I yeah. see you, Miko. You better know what you're doing. You will not fail. That's enough chatter. Get to work. Da, 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 da. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
how Paimon doesn't get swept away is amazing to me. Well, I mean, I guess Nico's getting us there anyway. Oh my god. Oh! oh. Are we Remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. Oh, dude, this is so cool! Oh my god. I just sent you out. <laughs> How can this be? Your wife sent us here. You have returned. But how were you able to get back in? And how come you have not changed at all in all these years? 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 Years. This is a duel to remember. It is as if we have returned to the moment when the laws of eternity were first established. Your will today is as strong as it was back then. Now these two return once more to this space. <laughs> An inevitability of fate, perhaps. Then, let this be our final duel. The conclusion to that which began five hundred years ago. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon ago. battle. <laughs> final duel? So you're finally willing to... Hmm. Stand back, traveler. Are you going to put an end to all this? I'm going to be the start of something new. Oh! Jesus! This is the end. You have won. I know your power more than anyone else. Had I relied upon my strength alone, I would have lost this duel for sure. Yet, my reason for fighting redefined my martial prowess and redrew my limits. Mm. I now carry the gaze of the myriad of expectant eyes that look to the light in the heavens. And whenever I think of this, I feel something stirring within Muso Ishin. Oh, because it's Makoto. I inherited from Ow! Makoto seems to be trying to guide me, to encourage me. Your present will is not the product of erosion. I shall no longer stop you from attempting to modify the rules. Oh God, that's from trippy. From this day forth, this body will remain your assistant. I won't design any more rules that can never be changed. You used to represent my past, but from today onward, you are me. Makoto never saw me as a fearless weapon. Likewise, I should not regard you as a mere tool. Hm. You truly have changed. I suppose this is what humans call growth. Oh? What? What, what happened? So Ishin's glowing? Oh, what's that? Hello, A. Oh. And greetings, those who have come to bear witness. Makoto? I am Raiden Makoto, the previous Electro Archon, who failed in my duties and left you all to pick up the pieces. Makoto? Makoto? Oh my god. I'm so happy. You've come so far. I always knew he would make it here in the end. I left a faint fragment of my will in Muso Ishin, so that in the moment that you unleashed its full power, I too would be released. There was no time to wait for you to have a change of heart. Please forgive me. All I could do was find some way to wait until you came to me. I've always felt terrible for having to entrust Inazuma to you all of a sudden. I should have been the one to impart these ideas to you, a little at a time, to dissuade you from your pursuit of stillness. 
Did you know what was about to happen in Conria? Yeah, did you? I had some sense of it. That place was not something Shogun just like uh. any Harkon <laughs> could afford to ignore. But I know that this must have been an extremely arduous journey for you. And I'm sure you must have wanted to shed tears many times along the way. Don't look down on me. <laughs> See? You admit it. Oh my god. It was with this possibility in mind that I left a parting gift for you. Something to soothe Inazuma's pain. Here, take it. Before my last shred of consciousness fades away. Oh god, this is like their that actual is you final goodbye. Who must take the most important step? tree that blesses the people in this moment new to the world and yet to be known when to plant it where it shall bloom she who brings it into being must let her heart and dreams decide grant it life eh is this is it really what is it it's, it's a seed to put to the sakura Eternity extends time into infinity. Dreams illuminate each moment within. When both shine in unison, the sacred Sakura blooms from the darkness, finally free from the clutches of the heavenly principles. Now oh. the nightmare has dissipated, and reality is made whole. The vision we both yearn for is still further ahead. My only regret is that I cannot witness Inazuma's future. Nor can I walk this journey with you. Oh god. Do you know, A? Eh? I am so happy right now. Because my final wish has now come true. Your polearm once protected me from countless calamities. For but this, now has... I've always felt indebted to you. Market has protected- Though I could never repay no, you in full. Stop! This stop. secret Sakura will buy you some time. Until you are ready to awaken. And embrace the new. What do you think? Did it do the trick? <laughs> this time, it really is goodbye. Stop! Hey. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> goodbye, Makoto. Ah! <laughs> oh no! I'm actually crying. Oh no, 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 no! In a way, it's like um, I I was half expecting Makoto to be like, now it's my turn to protect you. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh my God, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! Oh my God, I've never, I've never cried. Oh yeah. God. So the A of the present planted the sacred Sakura in the realm of consciousness, and it took root in the Inazuma of the past. God. No matter what you make of it, it's quite <laughs> incredible. Well, I'm not convinced that it was Makoto's power alone. I know what you mean. Perhaps Makoto got a higher power involved in all of this. It's the Roth. I remember seeing that name before, but I don't but remember where. the explanation... Her solution is what saved us all. Mm. I know you've always perceived there was something special about the sacred Sakura. But to me, it has always been there. You've tried in the past to prove to me that there's a connection between the sacred Sakura and Makoto's consciousness. But unfortunately, you never did persuade me, did you? No. But I understand why now. It was because the sacred Sakura hadn't even been planted then. <laughs> eh? How are you feeling now? My body has fully recovered, and the Shogun's will no longer fights against me. Does that mean it changes oh, from Shog Ready to Shogun to A? Good health. But I was really asking about your emotions. Have you managed <laughs> to calm down? After all, you saw Makoto in there, didn't you? I only heard her voice. I wouldn't say I saw her. 
Mm. I'll be fine. It brought a few things back, of course, but I've made my decision to move forward. Today, at long last, you and Inazuma finally emerge from the shadows cast by the events of centuries past. Mm. Makoto and you are Inazuma's past and future, and both are indispensable. It's rare to hear such comforting words from you. <laughs> I graciously accept them. Oh, come on. You only think it's rare because you never used to listen to a word I say. Makoto said the exact same thing! <laughs> Great minds think alike, hmm? I wonder... Does that qualify me to maybe <laughs> take the position of Shogun for a couple of days? The way the A is looking at her. Actually, no. Forget that. Far more trouble than it's worth. Hey, don't act like you literally didn't say, I place everything into Miko's hands. Bitch. The Shogun and I will closely review the Inazuma of today to find out where things currently stand. Then, we will give careful consideration to the future. After mm. that... I will abolish the Sakoku Decree. Mm. I am no longer pursuing an eternity defined by stasis. In which case, there is no further need to keep the nation under lock and key. I don't doubt that many challenges lie ahead for Inazuma. But out of those challenges will be born new opportunities. That's, that's like the main idea from this whole quest, which I appreciate. I'm looking forward to it. Challenges still lie ahead for Inazuma, okay. but I am prepared for them. Yaimiko said she was placing her god. <clears throat> Yaimiko said nothing of the sort, and the traveler has some nerve making a hey. spurious claim. Hey, yo, about no, 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 I, 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 I was not lying. I'm not slandering your name. I'm telling the truth. On. I'm telling the truth, ma'am. me, you don't want to know the cost of betraying oh. me. Just think of the things I said to you as our little secret. Understood. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Not me sipping on main. What are you talking about? We'll, t we'll tell okay. you in secret. Ooh, I suddenly want some fried tofu. Thank you for watching. Um, I will. I will see y'all next time. And next time is probably when I record. Um, for guys, whatever. Um, this this story coast is so good. Like I I severely preferred this one over the the. Other one. I understand why the other one existed, but this one was just so much better in every single way. And I think that the growth that A accomplished in this quest, um, from letting go of her past, um, you know, confronting the the pain of her sister's loss, but also accepting it and also using that to plant the sacred sakura. All of that, no chef's kiss. But also seeing the banter at the very end between these two was so good. I loved it. Anyway, um... But yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I will see you in the next video, whenever that is. Um, bye!